Good evening. Man, I have been so tired today. More so than usual. I'm going through menopause. So, I'm always tired. I never sleep through the night. I usually wake up every hour to two hours. I've always done that. My, I get that from my father. But today, oh my gosh. I, I, You know when you're really tired and your eyes feel like they're burning? That's how I feel right now. Jasmine has calmed down a little bit. Um, she does that every night. And... When you when I put my hand on her, her whole body's shaking like a leaf, and it's it's tripping me out. I don't know why she's doing that. So well, I kind of have an idea because a lot of animals are doing that. Can they sense the rapture is about to happen? I'm sorry if my voice sounds froggy. It always sounds like this when I'm tired. Accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you have not, do it right now. We're not much more time left. I assure you that. There might be some out there worried they're not going to be raptured. No. If you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, and you've repented, repent means to change your mind. It means I live for Christ. I try the best I can. Are we going to stumble? We're not perfect. Only Jesus was perfect. God sees everybody's heart. Best way to put it, God sees everybody's heart. We live for Christ. Wherever you're listening in the world, I'm sorry, my bed's so noisy. Don't put your faith and trust in these world leaders. And in this country, that's both sides. Because you know what? They know something's about to happen. When the bombs drop, they're going to protect themselves. They are going to protect themselves. I'm going to read a little from Revelation 6. This is going to be verse 15 and... To 17. King James. <coughs> and the kings of the earth, excuse me, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every freeman, man, sorry, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. He said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able to stand? That's what they're doing. They think they can hide from God. They can't hide from God. There's a, They know something's about to happen. We are the bride of Christ. Wrath means anger. That's what the tribulation is. God's anger on this unbelieving evil world. We are the bride of Christ. We will not go through that. But these rich... World elites think they can hide from God in his wrath. Well, they can't. Sorry, that was a bad guy in my bed here. They can't. Rapture's about to happen, guys. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. This came out on the 14th from the New York Post. Mark Zuckerberg. Well, guess what this guy is doing? And he's creepy. He's creepy. Mark Zuckerberg is reportedly building a sprawling 100 million dollar Hawaii compound complete with an underground bunker its own food and energy sources and a secret project suggesting that this guy is trying to conceal the doomsday preparations they know they know why right here is proof this this is solid proof man why is he building this these rich and elites, elites they, they will answer God one day. They really, literally make me ill. The Facebook founder's complex called Kulau Ranch is already partially constructed. It is shaping up to be one of the most expensive personal construction projects in modern history, according to a wired investigation of property records and interviews with contractors. The compound on the island of Kauai will consist of more than a dozen buildings with two central mansions that will be connected by a tunnel that leads to a 5,000 square foot underground shelter. How much more evidence do you need that they know what's coming? With an escape hatch accessible via a ladder. Wired reported siding building plans. Sickening. So sickening. The property will house at least 30 bedrooms and 30 bathrooms and will also feature 
dottings of guest houses and a group of 11 disc-shaped tree houses joined together by road bridges according to the plans reviewed by the Allen. The submarine bunker will hold a living space and mechanical room and feature an apparent black right here. The, here you go, right here. It's coming, guys. This is also going to feature an apparent blast resistant concrete and steel door wired reported there boom right there nuclear war is coming the church will not be here so if you come across channels where they're saying i'd stuck up on this and i'd stuck up on this and i'm stuck up on this i'm not saying not to i mean if you have the means to do it you know if you want to do it we don't have the means here I'm not worried about it because I know we're not gonna be here I was at the end of the article let me see oh no okay other exits and entrances throughout the compounds buildings will have doors with keypad locks and soundproofing while the library oh they have a library too look at that will feature a secret or blind door, according to the construction documents. Cameras are already everywhere, according to one worker. And the plans show that one smaller ranch building has more than 20 cameras alone. Wow. Kulau Ranch has another feature showing the Meta CEO may be planning for some sort of apocalypse. This guy... You know how tight the rich are with their money. I mean, the money he's spending to this thing is like a penny to us. But still, they're very tight with their money. When I get tips, and tips have been a lot lower lately, I notice that the big rich fancy houses, I mean, yeah, sometimes they do tip good. But the, usually the best tips I get are from the, not the big houses, you know. Just the, the small houses, like, you know, we would, like we, we live in, you know. He wouldn't be spending this money if he didn't know something. And it's he's it's Mark Zuckerberg. He knows. It's coming. He's not going to spend this much money on it if it's not. He knows it will happen. We won't be here for it. So we're very close to going home. According to Wired sources and construction plans, the builders hope to make it completely self-sufficient. <laughs> this thing has a water tank. 55 feet in diameter and 18 feet tall. Wow. Along with a pump system. Oh my God. Will be housed on the property. Where existing ranching and agricultural on 1,400 acres already provide food sources. Zuckerberg has built a six foot wall around the compound and has all his contracted workers, no matter their level or involvement, sign NDAs regarding their work on the property, according to Wired. The billionaire spent $170 million to purchase the land to build this ranch. That's just purchasing the land. Which he, his wife, and his kids view as their family. <laughs> Spokesperson for, spokesperson for Zuckerberg told Wired. Oh, sure. Because it's normal. Now, I wouldn't know anything about living rich. No, we don't know anything about living rich, you know, but I think common sense dictates that it's not normal to build an underground blast resistant shelter that will provide you with food and water and everything you need just as a regular vacation family home. Wow. Wow. This is solid proof, not that we needed it, that that kind of war is coming. And if they're building it now, they know it could come soon. Antichrist is about to appear, and before, right before he appears, we will be. Come up hither. You will hear your name, Mark, come up hither. Kelly, come up hither. George, come up hither. 
whatever your name is, you're going to hear, come up here, and we're going to be gone. And boom, I think it's the bombs. Right before the bombs drop, we go up. That's what I think. I'm not going to be wrong, but that's just what I think. I will leave the link in the description box. I wanted to share this with you guys. This is appalling. You know the Bible talks about this too? Sure it does. You can't escape God's wrath. And you know what? Think about this though. If you had that kind of money and a nuclear war broke out, I would, I mean, there's going to be nothing left in the surrounding areas. I, I, I wouldn't want to be here. You know? I wouldn't want to be here. And the post I made, <clears throat> that was a uh, Vietnamese pho restaurant that I picked up at. And I have been seeing as of January 1st, as of January 1st, as of January, I've been seeing this everywhere. The bank. The bank. This bank, Wells Fargo, bank, Wells Fargo. This bank is like maybe a minute from my house. And it's been there, gosh, as long as we've lived here. And I think my mother moved here in the very, very early 90s. They're closing. As of January 1st. I pray we're not here in 2024, but if we are, I mean, I don't know why that year just keeps sticking in my head, and I say that in all my videos. But as Christians, what do we do? We put on the full armor of God. We put our faith and trust in our Heavenly Father. We stay close to Yeshua, our King. Trump is not going to come in and la 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 la, and everything's going to go back to the way it was a lot. A lot of people actually think that, man. Ain't gonna happen. This is in doom and gloom. With all due respect, anybody that thinks this is doom and gloom talk, you, you can't keep your head in the sand. The Bible is clear about what's hap what happens in the last days, and it's happening right before our eyes. But for the church, this is good news. We could leave any second. And I know... Every morning we wake up, we're still here. Yeah, yeah, it's a bummer. But Watchman River said it perfect on the Titanic when the boat was sinking and lifeboats left. And there were some that could fit more people. I think maybe, what was it, two? One or two that turned, turned around to get more people. What if they said, no, 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 I know we could fit more people. But no, the overflow, the, the overpower of the boat, the boat could sink. No, we, let's just go. What if they said that? Those people wouldn't have been saved. Oh, they turned around. They got as many people on the boat as they could. Our Heavenly Father doesn't want anybody to perish. Doesn't want anybody to be left behind. But I assure you, as I'm living and breathing, whatever you're going through in life, it's about to be over. Health issues, you're about to have your new glorified body. No more tears. No more pain. We're going to be face to face with Yeshua very soon. I can feel it. I can totally feel it. Family members that have passed on the Lord, you're about to see them again. You're going to see family members you've never even met. We're going to be, we're going to see each other. And you know what? We've never met, but we'll know each other in heaven. And I can't wait to give you guys a big hug. You guys, when I say I love you and you mean so much to me, I do. And I pray for all of you and your families every day. The prayers that you guys have given me, the help you guys have given me. With y'all's help, Diamond was able to live longer. I'm going to be seeing Diamond again soon. And hearing that my videos are encouraging. You know, I, I know what it's like to wake up one morning and lose everything. And I know what it's like to sit there and wonder, God, why? Sometimes we never know why. But you know what? It brought me closer to him. I got this channel. I got you guys. See how things work out? 
<clears throat> my father passed away. God wants me here with my mother. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just had a salad. I got salad stuck in my throat. Maybe if all that didn't happen, I wouldn't be here, you know. My parents got married in 1966. They were married a long time. And um, God wants to be here. And just, you know, sometimes, sometimes we don't understand why things happen the way they do, but we put our faith and trust in our Heavenly Father. And you get through. I never, I look back at everything I've been through. I would have never gotten through if it wasn't for Jesus. Think about everything that you've been through in all those times. You thought, oh my gosh, am I going to get through this? And you did. Jesus got you through. And he will get you through again. I, sp I speak from experience. For a long time, I was trying to get acceptance from people. People would treat me like I was embarrassing. Um, saying they're my friends, but then never even sending a text hello, you know. And then I woke up one day and I thought, you know, the whole time Jesus was like, I'm here. I love you. You don't need them. All you need is me. Sometimes God keeps us alone to show us you don't need them. You don't need anybody in this world. All you need is me and I'm here and I love you and I'll never leave you. You don't have to, you don't have to try for love and you know, you know what I mean? And you don't have to, you know, like, oh, I just want this person to really care about me and I want this person to, to love me and I want this person to accept me. I love you. You're my child. I'll never leave your side. You don't need them. Made me much happier. Sure it did. Now, it doesn't mean that we're not going to have these moments here from time to time, but it's how we get through it. And the Holy Spirit gets you through. But all of this is about to be over. You know, I mentioned this in some of my videos, and I, I know we can't burn anything, anything with this. I just, you know, there's some people, like, every now and then when I post funny videos, you know, there's not not many. I think it was just one comment, actually. But um, I always talk about repenting in my videos. You guys know I always say that. But Christians are allowed to laugh as long as it's, tasteful humor, if you know what I mean, and it's not yucky humor, if you don't, yucky kind of dark humor, you know what I'm saying, I couldn't think of a good way to put it, but you, you know what I'm saying, it's innocent, you know, yeah, I was getting somewhere with that, my mind just went, <laughs> but, um, oh, my teddy, okay, menopause, there it goes again, so I'm sorry, bear with me, but, um, I have a teddy and a grower that I'm, I'm 50, well, I was born in 1960, oh my gosh, I was born in 1969, am I 53 or 54? Oh gosh, I hope I'm not 54. Well, I'm one of those ages. And I got this when I was like maybe three or four, Teddy and Grover. So they're over, they're like about 50 years old. And, um, I always talk to Jesus and I say, Jesus, when we go home and we, when you come get us, can I bring Teddy and Grover? <laughs> Here I am, a grown woman, you know. And I, I know he giggles at that, you know. I, I might have a replica up there, you know. You never know. So, I will leave the link in the description box. They know something's coming. We do too. The rapture. I love you guys. Good night. God bless you and I will talk to you soon.